always fresh every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Ford says its dealers are safe. Ish. We'll have more. Also, Volkswagen preps a faster Scirocco, Volvo goes digital, and we look at a new 3D nav system. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily on a beautiful Wednesday. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D, always fresh every day. Someone tell Ford Motor Company that gloating makes them look fat. The company this week said it would not be paring down its dealer network. That statement comes on the heels of reported plans for major dealership cuts from GM and Chrysler. Ford officials say the company has already been consolidating its dealers and that additional cuts won't be anything like the nearly 800 dealer shutdowns from Chrysler and 1,100 from GM the two companies announced earlier this week. Ford is also not accepting any bailout money from the government and says it can eat just one Lay's potato chip and can touch MC Hammer. Just like Chuck Norris. He's the man. And news broke late yesterday on a more powerful Volkswagen Scirocco for the European market. The UK's iMotor was first to print this week with specs on the new Scirocco R. That's the one powered by the same 2-liter TFSI power plant as the latest Audi S3. It's good for 265 horsepower and power cruise to the front wheels by way of a 6-speed manual or VW Audi's dual-clutch gearbox known as DSG. The Scirocco also gets VW's new XDS differential found in the company's 2010 GTI. A product of VW's individual program, the Scirocco R also gets a lower suspension and better brakes than the standard model. iMotor says the VW Scirocco R will launch sometime this September. VW hasn't made an official announcement yet, but expect to see an unveiling at the upcoming 24 hours of Nürburgring or the annual European Volkswagen stock known as Worthersea. Don't take the brown acid. And Volvo may not be best known for its racing legacy, but the company is trying to change that by giving video gamers a digital taste of its modern and classic race cars. Volvo this week released a trailer for its new racing simulator, Volvo The Game. The branded PC video game will offer simulated drives of the company's 240 and 850 race cars, along with newer models including the S60 concept shown in Detroit earlier this year. The Volvo game follows a similar driving simulator by BMW dubbed BMW M3 Challenge. Volvo says it's also offering prizes to online gamers with the best lap times. Volvo The Game will hit digital shelves on May 26th. You can find out more on those and a bunch of other stories at the FLD News Feed. That is FastLaneDaily.com slash feed. <sighs> Yes. Also, you can subscribe to us on YouTube and friend us on Facebook and Twitter us. I don't even know what this is. Next up, FLD looks to on the latest automotive technologies. That's an FLD fast forward coming up right after this. Welcome back. Now we check in on the people and companies planning the next wave of transportation for a new segment we call FLD Fast Forward. Volkswagen is edging closer to its goal of providing a three-dimensional navigation system. Kind of like the real world, only more colorful and fewer people. VW's Electronics Research Laboratory in California this week showed off Gloria, or Global Open Infotainment Architecture System. The system uses Intel processors to handle 3D nav, as well as storing digital music and viewing photos and videos. It also sports onboard Wi-Fi. Maximum geekage comes from the system's touchscreen interface, which allows the driver to control the system using gestures instead of buttons. Let's have a look. We've enabled a number of features on this platform. Uh, first off, we've got digital music, which can be stored on your hard drive or the SD card slot there. We've got 3D navigation, which we've enabled with online satellite imagery. Uh, you can view your pictures and videos, uh, again, you know, using the SD card from your personal camera. Uh, AM, FM radio, online services, and for connectivity in the car, we've got the USB ports in the glove box. We've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. And also, we have broadband internet connectivity in this car for an always-on internet connection. Nord yet on VW will introduce the Gloria system on its cars, but gadget experts say such systems will likely arrive within five years. 
Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Happy Hump Day. But before we go, check out a bit of stop motion action from our buddy Ross D. Souter. Ross D., I like that. It's kind of like Derek D. You got it. It's the Lego Cops, and they're coming after you. Well, if your head is yellow and your face is just painted on. Take it, Ross. I need some backup. Please sign the paddy wagon. Ta 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 